What is your opinion on not wearing a bra at work or university? I knew someone who never wears a bra. She's extremely intelligent and has a lot of degrees and years of experience in her field. That's how people describe her. Oh yeah, Dr. X, the one who never wears a bra. Lol. Quote. People may say they don't care but, in reality, a lot foe them are noticing and they talk about it. Behind your back. So as much as I would love to say wear what you want, I suggest that, in a professional setting, you wear one. I know I might have an unpopular opinion here but sadly, even in these days, a lot of people are not mature enough to deal with free boobs. I know that some even have a problem seeing a woman breastfeeding their baby. Wear a bra. Don't wear a bra. I don't care. I'm there to work, not worry about what's under your shirt. Which celebrity fall from grace disappointed you the most? Bill Cosby. I grew up on picture pages and fat Albert reruns, and it sucked to watch somebody who was such a prominent figure from my childhood fall. Kevin Spacey. I'd always believed that he was a great actor who was just very adept at playing shitty human beings. Turns out he wasn't acting. Joss Whedon. Danny Masterson. Alison Mack. Hmm. I wonder what the second string but highly popular character of this teen science fiction drama is doing oh good she's running a sex cult and using branding irons on women. Jeffrey Jones, Ferris Bueller, Beetlejuice, found to have child porn. R. Kelly, hearing I believe I can fly for the first time as a kid is nostalgia for me. But goddamn what a fucking disgrace. My condolences to the victims. What is the grossest hygiene issue you overlooked in an ex? Didn't seem to shake well or wash well so if I ever laid my head on his lap it reeked of piss. How's this? Happened with my high school girlfriend, at 17. Bottom drawer of the bathroom filled to the brim with used tampons, and when I discovered this and asked why the bin or even just a sealable bag wasn't an appropriate option, she sheepishly said she liked the smell of them. I tapped out. My tooth keeps chipping and growing back. Dog that's tartar. I don't like to brush my teeth BC it makes my gums bleed, as in therefore it's not good for him. You know what's funny, before I read this thread, I thought my standards were low. What was your worst experience at a doctor's office? Was 17, had an infected ingrown toenail. My pediatrician tried cutting and digging it out with what looked like pliers and bracing his leg against the table. After fucking around for a bit he realized he wasn't going to get it. No numbing gel or anything. Hurt like a mofo. Scheduled an appointment with a podiatrist. He numbed it. Had it removed in about two minutes and told me to never see that doctor. Again. I thought I had a broken nose. The doc was showing me, on a heavy glass x-ray plate, that my nose was not broken. But as I was looking up, he dropped the plate on my nose and broke it. Who do you think has legitimately lost their mind? Kanye. Have no idea how it isn't mentioned but Antonio Brown. Dude Tilda Tilda was Tilda Tilda seemed much more calm and collected off the field while still being an excellent athlete. He could handle a post-game interview like he was just a normal and fairly charismatic dude for years, but now I'd go as far as saying he's legitimately insane. Tila Tequila As an older guy wanting to sound hip on current events, I'll go with Nicki Minaj. Rudy Giuliani He was smart enough at one point. Now, his brain is just pickled. He's a good lesson in what alcohol can do to you, long term.